Tesla's billion-dollar investment in the two new batteries has just been leaked. Overnight, the company's testing with aluminum ion and sodium ion has forced Chinese and Korean manufacturers to take notice. Tesla's stock has skyrocketed 16.7%, just within 10% of its all-time high. You can imagine the impact. And while Elon Musk is still hiding the details, we've already got the latest update on these two secret weapons. The energy density weakness of aluminum ion is being completely eliminated with the new formula, and the price of sodium ion is even falling three times deeper than what we previously expected. In today's video, we analyze in detail the latest improvements and unprecedented performance of aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries in Tesla's labs. And finally, you'll see what is the sub $25,000 Model 2 launch scenario with these two technologies in 2026. Before we dive in, hit subscribe and join our 10,799 subscribers to get exclusive access to Tesla's journey, where every update could give you a real advantage in life and on the road. How is Tesla pushing aluminum battery energy density? 45% beyond the prototype. No fire risk ultra-fast charging that hits 100% in just 8 minutes, and a lifespan three times longer than lithium-ion with 89% capacity retained after 2.5 million miles. All of these impressive numbers fit inside a single aluminum battery pack. But there's one big issue that's making Americans, especially Auto Gear Shift subscribers, hesitate. The range. In earlier stages, Aluminum batteries only reached an energy density of 220 watt-hours per kilogram, far lower than 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram lithium-ion, and giving just about 250 to 300 miles of range. Clearly, that's not enough to convince people who love long road trips, used to gas cars getting 400 miles per tank for decades. However, the latest leaked info from Tesla's Q3 2025 testing shows aluminum batteries have boosted energy density by 45% compared to before. So what's going on? Tesla has optimized space inside the aluminum ion battery structure to pack energy more efficiently. First up is a 3D honeycomb cell stacking design. Battery cells shrink in thickness by 80% from 50 nanometers down to 10 nanometers, and are stacked and interlaced. The gap between cells now drops below 800 nanometers, cutting empty space by 84% compared to the previous 5 micron gap. That means in the same battery volume, Tesla can stack 5 times more cells storing aluminum ion. Then there's a 0.5 micron nanopolymer coating on the graphene anode. Raw graphene at first has a huge surface area, but only stored ions in a few areas, leaving the rest to waste. The nanopolymer coating added now has the function of distributing the ions evenly across the surface. That means the cathode area can now hold more ions, from about 65% before to 95% with the coating, allowing the battery to hold 1.5 times more energy. With these optimizations, Tesla's aluminum battery now can reach 320 watt-hours per kilogram, a 45% boost over the prototype, without adding weight or size. Applied to a 75 kilowatt-hour pack, aluminum ion could deliver up to 450 miles on a single charge. That means it matches the convenience of a gas car and beats lithium-ion EVs like the Model Y Long Range 330 miles, Ford Mustang Mach-E 320 miles, and even the Rivian R1T 410 miles. So, are you someone who often drives long distances and needs long range? Comment. Aluminum Ion 450 miles. If you believe this new tech can finally erase the range anxiety that's kept so many Americans skeptical about aluminum batteries. How will Tesla Sodium Ion make batteries the world's cheapest energy? Just about four months ago, analysts were predicting Tesla's sodium-ion batteries would have a production cost around $30 per kilowatt-hour. That number shocked the industry as it was nearly three times cheaper than lithium-ion at $90 per kilowatt-hour. But according to the latest report, the company has pushed costs down even further, by another threefold. 
Since August 2025, Tesla has shifted from using sodium from natural salt mines, which cost about $500 per ton, to recycled sodium from industrial glass and chemical manufacturing plants, costing only $150 per ton. Around the same time, at Gigafactory Shanghai, Tesla rolled out a low-temperature sodium extraction system to replace the high-temperature method that used 800 degrees Celsius kilns and consumed 50 kilowatt-hours of electricity per ton of sodium refined. Tesla is now testing a new chemical catalyst based on organometallic compound, allowing sodium to be extracted at just 200 degrees Celsius, using only 15 kilowatt-hours per ton, reducing 70% refining cost. So now, sodium ion battery production costs could drop to as low as $11 per kilowatt hour, making a 75 kilowatt hour pack cost just $1,200. Compared to the average $11,400 for lithium ion, that's just one tenth the price, and Tesla will pass those 10,000 savings directly onto the purchase. Before this, many analysts believed sodium ion batteries couldn't compete because of their low energy density, just 120 to 160 watt hours per kilogram, and that it would take a decade to improve. That's wrong. Tesla's sodium ion battery, with electrode stacking technology similar to what they're testing with aluminum batteries, could reach 275 watt hours per kilogram. That pushes sodium ion far above BYD's blade battery at 165 watt hours per kilogram, the cheapest, most popular battery in the world that is also used in Germany Tesla Model Y. Sodium ion batteries are also far more durable, with a lifespan of 15,000 charge cycles, five times that of lithium batteries. At minus 30 degrees Celsius, they still retain 90% capacity losing only 10% instead of the 40% typical for lithium-ion. With sodium battery costs lower than ever before in the energy industry, Tesla is putting huge pressure on BYD, which relies on its cheapest blade battery to boost sales. Now Tesla's batteries are cheaper and better quality, meaning BYD's cost advantage alone won't be enough to compete. If you're curious about all of Tesla's new battery technologies, and want to see how far ahead they're pulling from the rest of the industry, feel free to check out our deep dive videos on the channel. Where are aluminum and sodium in Tesla EV's future plan? The specs for aluminum batteries and sodium batteries clearly show why Elon Musk is betting on these two technologies. The real question now is, which models will these two batteries power in Tesla's future plans? For current models like the Model 3 and Model Y, Aluminum ion or sodium ion batteries are unlikely to replace LFP in the next two years. Tesla's new cathode formula has just been patented and will be applied to these models in their 2026 and 2027 versions. Instead, aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries will focus on whole new models. Sodium ion batteries could appear in the Robovan expected in early 2027, thanks to their low cost, high load capacity, and stable performance in extreme temperatures, making them ideal for continuous operation in urban freight services. Meanwhile, aluminum ion batteries are better suited for the Tesla Semi with high energy density and longer range. However, the earliest debut for these two battery technologies will likely be in the 2026 Model 2, with the scenario as follows. Tesla is likely shaping two versions, aluminum battery for high-performance variants aimed at longer range needs, and sodium batteries targeting ultra-affordable standard models. However, their launch times will differ based on the mass production capabilities of each. For aluminum batteries, Q3 2025 production tests show a mass production line could be ready in 10 to 12 months. Initial output is estimated at 80 gigawatt hours per year at Giga Nevada and Giga Texas, where Tesla is expanding its dry electrode lines to integrate aluminum. Currently, Tesla is working with Redwood Materials to scale up aluminum recycling, cutting energy consumption by up to 95% compared to producing new aluminum, and reducing raw material costs by 40% from $60 per kilowatt hour previously estimated down to $36 per kilowatt hour. 
That means Ally-on battery packs for the Model 2 would cost about $2,200 to $2,400 each. The final car price would be $19,000, launching in Q3 2026, with a performance variant prioritized to compete in the premium segment and an initial run of 300,000 units. Meanwhile, the testing phase of SALT batteries at Giga Shanghai in partnership with CATL is showing that Tesla is fully capable of commercializing this technology in the next four to six months. Mass production will likely be transferred to Giga Texas starting in December 2025 with an output of 100 gigawatt hours. So the Model 2 Neon version will be the base model priced under $17,000 to capture the low-cost market in the US and Asia, with the first batch of 500,000 vehicles in Q2 2026. The shift to aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries will also significantly improve Tesla's vehicle production and delivery times. Both aluminum ion and sodium ion batteries do not rely on scarce minerals. Tesla is expected to secure even stronger supply chain stability, freeing itself from China's material dominance and geopolitical disruptions. In addition to reducing production costs by up to 40%, these technologies will cut the waiting time for refining materials overseas and transporting them. Combined with Tesla's chassis production line, which assembles a car frame every five seconds, this efficiency means the Model 2 could be delivered four to five times faster than before. So instead of the current four to six month wait like for a Model Y, they could reduce the time from order to deliver the Model 2 right to your door to just a few weeks. So, that's all we've got about Tesla's latest aluminum ion and sodium ion news. The updates are showing they're truly redefining the EV game with cheaper, safer, longer lasting and higher performance batteries. Now it's your turn. Which battery technology excites you more? And if the affordable 2026 Model 2 really launches with these two batteries, would you be ready to get one? Like, share, and let us know if this breakdown was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next videos.